This is the time we have pinpointed in your timeline, sir. This is when you go back and give yourself this. You'll know what to say. You've already heard yourself say it. It doesn't matter if it's exactly right. The time stream will work itself out. Just make sure you give yourself this. It's our best hope for the future of the galaxy. You'll return to this exact point in time as soon as you have done what you need to do. The galaxy still needs you, Admiral. Ready? Welcome to Star Trek Online. Today is graduation day, and you soon... People you can interact with have icons above their heads. Press A Finally, to talk with them. I was beginning to think you forgot what today was. Of course, I was first in line. Oh, before I forget, I think Rasky is just ahead. He wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the astrometrics one. There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final, and for all the other times you've helped me. I've always admired you. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship did you get? Good luck. Before you report to Lieutenant Farah and get your assignment, you should find Tavrell. She wanted to talk to you. She's just up the pathway. Greetings. It was good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I was willing to accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at my best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt, well within my standard norms. Now I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Live long and prosper. Your minimap shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the minimap if you are far away from your objective. There you are! Getting excited yet? Once we finish our training crews, we'll all be full-fledged ensigns. The buzz is, Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. Good afternoon, cadet. What can I do for you? Yes, I have the complete assignment list here. Name? Let's see. Interesting. Report to Captain Taggart. He's in the office behind me. You're going to have to ask him. Objects you can interact with have a glow around them. Press A to interact with the doorbell to notify Captain Taggart of your presence. Come. Cadet. I did. I've been following your progress here at the Academy, and I must say, I'm impressed. I'm just looking at your final test scores, but I don't see your results for the advanced phaser training program. I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program, and I want to see good results, no exceptions. I did. Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. I'll ask my tactical officer to set it up. Another fine cadet like yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few... blemishes. Still, I'm sure Cadet Flores will settle down and become a fine officer someday. I'll tell Flores to meet you outside. Talk to her to start the phaser training and I'll see you when you're finished. You're dismissed, cadet. I got the tactical officer spot, just what I wanted. Where'd you end up? 
You never did that? I thought you were Miss Extra Credit. Everyone knows that Captain Taggart expects all his top people to pass that program. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holodeck and set it up. Seems most of our class ended up on Captain Taggart's ship. Have you seen the whales in San Francisco Bay? I never seem to spot them. I sometimes forget that Boothby is a hologram. He seems like such a fixture here at Starfleet Academy. To sprint, press and hold the left Last stick while moving. the console buys the first round tonight! Setting up the training program now. I hope Holodeck 2 is your lucky Holodeck. Shoot stuff, don't die. Pretty basic, really. Phasers are in the lockers by the Holodecks. You can grab one there. to fire your weapon in combat. While in combat, certain actions are disabled. Once you drop out of combat, more detail about ground combat will become available. You are now a Delta recruit. You have a unique trait that gives bonus dilithium ore to you and your teammates. Hold Y to holster and draw your weapon. Well done, cadets. You're not going to break the Academy record, but your score was more than satisfactory. Absolutely. I have a new first officer. Congrats. Yes. You should be proud of your accomplishments here, Cadet. You have a promising career ahead of you in Starfleet. First officer, way to go! Just a little jealous, I'll admit. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. Don't let it go to your head, buddy. You'll do great! <gasps> 
But we should head up to the shuttle bay. Everyone else is waiting there for the ceremonial send-off toast. Now hear this. All cadets report to shuttle bay to prepare for departure. Okay, all of the senior staff is waiting by the bar. I'm sure everyone's a bit nervous, this being our first real assignment and all. So, I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. Something heartwarming. Make Tavrell cry. This mission could just determine the rest of our careers. No pressure. I'll meet you over there. Board your shuttles. Are you ready to head to the ship? Subsystem targeting, a crew of 750, auxiliary phaser cannons, and even a quantum field focus controller. I can't wait to captain one someday. But here's our ship. Miranda class, 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft, average speed, warp 5 point nothing. She's a tough little ship though. I think I like her. We're the final shuttle to arrive. We need to get to the bridge. I'm going to check in and then head for the bridge. See you there. Name and position? I have your record right here. Welcome aboard. Captain Taggart is waiting for you on the bridge. Use a turbo lift in the nearby quarter. It will take you directly there. Welcome to the bridge, number one. Early in my career, I served with a captain who called his first officer that. I always liked it. As my number one, I expect you to ensure my orders are carried out, and to advise me on the best course of action in any situation. But first, we need to get out of dry dock, get clearance from control, and close the shuttle bay doors, then disable the tractor moorings. Earth traffic control has cleared us to depart, sir. Very good, number one. Shuttle bay doors are closed, sir. Very good, number one. Potter, take us out. One quarter impulse. Just checking to see if you're paying attention, number one. Potter, take us out. Maximum thrusters. To sit, press A while targeting the chair you wish to sit in. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. 
Good. Let's start with something easy. Set course for Vulcan. Course lead in, sir. Engage. Captain, I'm picking up an automated distress call from the SS Breakeven. Their warp core is failing, and they require immediate assistance. Let them know we're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. They are not responding to our hails, Captain. Keep trying, Trevel. Their long-range comms might be down. Number one, let's discuss the situation. An unexpected situation, number one. But such things come with the job. What do you think we should do? Absolutely not. We're the closest ship to the break-even, so it's our duty to assist. Indeed. We also don't know what led to this situation either. It could have been an accident, or the results of an attack. What do you advise? Raising the shields does seem to be a reasonable precaution. Indeed. Yellow alert. Raise shields. Number one, I'd like you to oversee the rescue effort once we arrive. Still no response from the break-even, Captain. Scan them. Maybe they're unable to respond to our signal. Captain, our shields are collapsing. Morris, retire the fire. Atom Delta Sierra Line. Well, there go the shields. Not good. Engineering to bridge. Go ahead, engineering. Sir, the partner here. We need help. Right, number one. I want you to go to main engineering and lead the security team efforts there. Get those Borg off my ship. Sorry for the emergency stop, number one, but there's a problem in the transporter room. The Borg are trying to take it over, most likely to prevent us from using site-to-site -site transports within the ship. Head to the armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security officers you find on the way. Once you're armed, I need you to go to the transporter room and secure it as soon as possible. We're holding our own so far, number one, but our success depends on securing the ship. Do what you can to get the Borg out of critical areas. You need to unlock me, sir! Over here! Enter the command code! We should grab rifles to fight up the board!
Status report number one. Very well. We're reading all glass signs in your area. Looks like you'll have to fight your way to the transporter room. Good luck.
attention in history class that day. That plasma coolant really did a number on the Borg. Borg we won't be coming back here anytime soon. Three, five, That's nine. good. That's very, very good. <laughs> number one, we've got injured up here and the Borg could send a boarding party at any time. I need you back on the bridge. Go, see to the bridge. We will secure main engineering. is secure for now help the others back onto their feet number one we may have more unwanted guests before too long Nice work, number one. Oh, looks like that phase of training paid off. Captain, look out! All decks reporting in, sir. We took some casualties, and sick bay is full. All ship systems have taken some damage, but some are worse than others. Life support is stable, but anything else could be an issue. I have been trying to get a distress call out, Captain, but something is jamming all frequencies. I think she took some real damage. We're in rough shape too, Captain. Still running diagnostics, sir. Took us some time to get the systems back online. Hailing the break-even now, Captain. No response, Captain. I suggest that we move closer for a short-range scan. Press up to increase your ship speed. Press down to decrease your ship speed. Use the left stick to pitch downward or upward, as well as to turn left or right. Helm, full stop. I've stopped us this time, sir, but from now on, you'll be responsible for adjusting the speed of the ship. No rifle is detected. The ship is broadcasting its distress signal via automation. I suggest that we remotely order the break-even's computer to cease the distress signal. I've put together a damage report, Captain, and it's not good. Level 2 diagnostic shows that almost all of the plasma injectors are damaged beyond repair. Not enough. Plasma injectors are made to withstand quite a beating, but we took too much damage in main engineering. I'm installing what spares we have, but we're short three injectors. Without them, we can't go to warp. There was a battle here recently between Starfeet and Klingon forces, and the amount of wreckage present is considerable. Despite the dangers involved, the salvage opportunities attract the crews of civilian vessels, like the Break-Even. 
Logic suggests that we may discover similar opportunities for salvage here. I recommend scanning the debris field. Some of the derelicts present may contain intact plasma injectors. Bingo! I found some suitable debris in the boneyard nearby. Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need. Press the right trigger to fire energy weapons. An item has dropped for you. Move towards the item to automatically loot it. sir. Gorgeous technology. Type R, if I had to guess. 3.7 liter flow with shielded reservoirs and a drop flow induction coil converter and... I'll get everything installed as soon as I can, Captain. Just remember, safety comes first. After all, we don't want to blow up the minute we hit warp one. Unfortunately so, Captain. We are still unable to send a distress signal. There are several operational Starfleet comm satellites near our position. My preliminary attempts to use them to send a distress signal were not successful. A sensor scan revealed the presence of Borg technology in each satellite, and that they are the source of the jamming signal. Since time is a factor, the most expedient solution to the problem is the destruction of the assimilated satellites. Their elimination should allow us to send a distress signal to Starfleet Command. You must be within 10 kilometers of an enemy to attack it. Use your phaser banks to weaken shielded targets. ship sustained damage in our encounter and is likely to be leaking plasma until they have an opportunity to regenerate. We might be able to use that plasma to find them. Understood. Fortunately, our sensors are sufficient to the task of following the trace plasma signature. Now enhancing the plasma trail imaging, the recolored visuals should appear on our mapping systems. It's pretty far out, sir. We should use the ship's full impulse power to reach it. This will temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. Hold up on the D-pad to activate and deactivate full impulse. Multiple Borg vessels on sensors. Warning. Ship is under attack. These probes do not appear to be... <laughs> me. 
transmission, sir. It is from Starfleet. This is Captain Nog of the USS Chimera. Do you require assistance? Pretty bold move to come this far into Federation territory. Where is Captain Taggart? I see. And you're the acting captain. Right. Well done, cadet. Looks like your ship is in need of repairs. Set a course for our position. Chimera out. Another Borg Spear is attacking. out for us. Cadet, where's your captain? Assimilation isn't a fate that anyone should suffer, and I hesitate to think about what the Borg would do with a captive Starfleet captain. They must have taken him for a reason. Otherwise, they wouldn't have left without assimilating your entire crew. Agreed. We'll do everything we can to bring your captain home, Cadet. I don't like the sound of that at all. We need to get to the Pollock system and help the Kittimer before it's too late. Indeed it does. I'll need all the help I can get with this situation. Consider this a field promotion, Captain. Now then, set a course to the Pollock system, best possible speed. Voyager and Chimera will rendezvous with you there. Janeway out. We've arrived in the Pollock system, Captain. I have the Kittimer on sensors. She's taken heavy damage and is not responding to our hails. Your orders?
Sensors indicate several critical systems are offline, Captain, including communications. I am reading numerous life signs on board, however. Something's not right. Where are the Borg ships that attack the trip? Captain, I want you to scan those nearby gas clouds while we assist the crew of the Kipper. Make sure they're not hiding any unwanted guests. Sensors are having difficulty getting clear resolution through the gaseous anomalies. We will need to move in to very close range to acquire useful information. Press right on the D-pad to set your ship's power levels to have a focus on attack, defense, auxiliary, or speed. Reports indicate traces of gamma radiation. But there's something off in the readings. This is Janeway. We're detecting some unusual gamma radiation levels near your position. We're having trouble getting a clear scan. I don't like the look of it. Try recalibrating your multispatial sensor array. That should provide a better reading. Let me know what you find out there. That level of radiation could hide a lot of things, including the Borg. The multispatial sensor array has been recalibrated, Captain. Picking up a transwarp signature. It's right on top of us! The board! The board are attacking us as well. It's full impulse to reach us quickly. Hold the up button to activate and deactivate full impulse. Contact with the bridge. I am unable to contact Commander Davis for new instructions. The Kittimer is being overwhelmed by Borg boarding parties. These Borg are different than the ones in my history records. They seem disconnected somehow. They're strange, but still quite dangerous. I am an emergency medical hologram, not a miracle worker. The Borg did some serious damage to the Kittimer. The EMH might be in command because no one else is fit to do so. I'm reading a few probes from the Kittimer in the system. Looks like they were conducting research here before the Borg attacked. I want you to collect data from those probes. Let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. We'll send teams to aid the Kittimer while you collect that data. One more thing. If you or your crew are unable to tackle this, speak up now. I know firsthand what fighting the Borg can do, even to seasoned officers. I've linked the iota point to your map. Scan there while we see to the Kittimer.
send us the data so we can begin our analysis. We have your data, and our science team is analyzing it now. Our tactical teams have eliminated the Borg boarding parties on the Kittimer. Why do you ask? There is an 88.47% chance that you will need my help. I have 75 million gigaquads of computer memory and an extensive library of files on military tactics and command strategies. I believe I can spare a few bits of processing power for you. Borg transform signatures detected. All hands, battle stations. They're firing. I need help. are picking up inbound transwarp signatures. Based on our analysis, their most likely target is the Vega system. There's a civilian colony there, and if the Borg take it, they'll have a large population to assimilate. Agreed. Voyager and Chimera are better equipped to hold off the Borg and assist the Kittimer. Once you've warned the colony, return to Earth space dock. We have to make our way to Vega as soon as we can, Captain. I just hope we're not too late to warn the colony. Are you ready to go? Shields up! Reveler! You need to warn the Vega colony about the impending attack. We'll do what we can here to hold off the Borg and repair the Kittimer. Good luck. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Here ships travel at warp speed between systems. Combat does not take place in sector space.
we arrive before the Borg. Now my heart can start beating again. What are your orders, Captain? Tavrell managed to establish a comm link with Willa Post, the administrator of Vega Colony. It's not a great signal, but it's the best we're gonna get. Putting her through now. Lost contact with Vega Colony, sir. Something is blocking all subspace signals in this area. Even our hails to the civilian ships are not getting through. There is a communication satellite nearby. It should boost our signal sufficiently to inform the freighters of the danger and warn the colony. Hails are still blocked, sir. The Borg may be attempting to isolate the planet before they land. Your order, sir. Uh, the Borg are jamming up any remote signals. It's not safe to beam through that. I think I can boost the gain, though. Transwarp conduits opening all over the system, Captain. The Borg are here. <laughs> I have short-range communications. Long-range signals are still blocked. I can contact the planet and have informed Administrator Post of the situation. However, the Borg have already landed and are moving toward the colony. It may be more prudent to retreat back to the Chimera, sir. Borg landing craft detected nearby. Captain, there are civilian ships engaging them. I believe I can send a message to those ships. <laughs> Captain. 
Captain, the Borg have landed, and the colony won't be able to hold them off for long. I recommend beaming down to Vega and getting as many people out as we can. Captain, according to our readings, over half the planet is already assimilated by the Borg. At the rate they're progressing, the region we're in will be overrun in roughly one hour. And if that wasn't bad enough, the interference is affecting the ship's transporters. No, sir. I'll follow your lead. That's one of those Borg ships from orbit. Too late. Those landing ships don't just carry drones. They can pump nanoprobes directly into the ground and the atmosphere. We need to hurry. The Borg will be in this area soon. Starfleet's here. Oh, thank God. Please, you have to help us. Thank you. We didn't know if anyone from Starfleet got our distress signal, and we don't have any weapons. But we do have some spare armor suits for you and your officer. They're in the crates next to the gate. This code will open the gate. Please, Administrator Post and some of the others are still there. You have to save them. There is still no sign of Chimera or Voyager, sir. I apologize for Cole's putting a rifle in your face. 
If it wasn't for him, the Borg would have assimilated me by now. What's the situation? Are you bringing more Starfleet reinforcements? I see. Then it's true. Vega is doomed. A single starship cannot hope to stop this. Still, there is more to do. Many citizens are hiding in their homes. We cannot abandon them to the Borg. I know. Coles and I have been trying to get around the interference field. Thank you for tagging the people you found and getting them safely transported to your ship. No, there are dozens more hiding out in the buildings. But Coles and I have a plan. We think a pattern enhancer will do the trick. That can transport the remaining citizens to your ship. But first, I'd like to offer you some equipment. Vega is, was, a trade colony. And this gear was intended to go to Starbase 65. I think you need it more. Straight fire on the board. We need to keep them away from the civilians. Another group of civilians has beamed to the ship, Captain. Thank you for everything you've done. Even though it was impossible to save everyone, those you did save will be forever in your debt. Glad to do anything I can. I was born on them. There's no way I'm sitting by and letting the board take me out of the fight. All right, Coles, you're gonna see if I'm gonna be assimilated. Don't has I know the drill. Just never expected any Borg here, you know. The Borg 
you're so... What's the word? Effective? Systematic? Evil. I'm gonna go with you. can get a lock on, Captain, but we don't have much time. We need to get back as soon as possible. We're packed to the brim with civilians, Captain. I don't think we could fit one more soul on this ship. Communications are still jammed, so we can't reach the Renown or the Kittimer. The immediate problem is the civilian ships in this system. Vega's a huge trading outpost. There are always ships traveling here. We need to warn them the Borg have taken over. Possibly, but what we need to do is hightail it out of here with these civilians. Of course, the path to the satellites does lead away from the planet, so we could remotely reconfigure them as we leave. The message won't get very far, but anyone who enters the system will get the signal and be able to turn around before it's too late. Multiple probes inbound. I don't think the board like us hanging around. Academy studying for the Astrometrics final.
are on the way. Oh, you'd be surprised, Captain. Mirandas are a lot tougher than you think. That ship helped you save a lot of lives here today. Treat her well, and she'll do a lot more for you and your crew. I want you to return to Earth space dock. Admiral Quinn will want a full report from us. Meet me in his office after you arrive. Captain Volok told us to get to Earth space dock and... I think he's right. We need to get the civilians to safety. And I don't think I can handle any more excitement. I'll see you back at Earth Space Dock, Captain. One more thing. Try not to pick any more fights with the Borg before you get there. I think you've had enough excitement for now. Janeway out. Congratulations, Lieutenant.
Greetings. How can I assist you today? Oh, or in the f an encounter, you say? Something temporal in nature, I assume. That's protocol in these sorts of cases, but rarely do Starfleet officers actually follow through. I can do a quick scan for chroniton radiation. That will tell me what I need to know. Hmm. I am getting some light chroniton radiation from you. You were exposed to someone from the... the future, it seems. But not too far. By these readings, I'd say a maximum of 18 months from the day you encountered them. That's not entirely out of the question. There's been a steady flow of new starship captains and field promotions in the wake of all the crises going on in the galaxy. Someone like yourself could definitely be an admiral in a relatively short amount of time. Hmm. This looks to be a Tesseract-based receiver. Where did you get it? I see. You're not the first to receive one of these from the future. Admiral Archer had a similar device when he was captain of the first Enterprise. These are used to send back information, and in some cases, physical objects from the future. I believe that if you were to do specific tasks that benefit the future, items useful to you could be sent back in time for you to use. Your future self has a Tesseract communication receiver. Using this device will open the Delta Recruit UI. Alert. A spatial anomaly has been detected in Grim 6. Ah, there you are. It's good to see you in person. I've already filed my report with the Admiral. He's waiting for yours now. You've showed exemplary performance under duress. You saved a lot of people, including Captain Taggart. You stood tall against the Borg in combat. That's a lot to face as a cadet on a training cruise. But you handled it all very well. I've said as much in my report. Now, more than ever, Starfleet needs its best and brightest officers out there to defend the Federation and uphold the ideals that make it strong. Officers like you. I can't speak for the Admiral, but I believe you and your crew have a bright future ahead. Don't mention it. For now, duty calls. You have a report to give, and I'll be meeting with the Admiralty to discuss plans for the Vega situation. Take care. We have a lot to discuss, Cadet. Yes, I see that here in the report filed by Admiral Janeway. She granted you a field promotion to give you seniority over the rest of the active crew of your ship. As a cadet, you were assigned to an academy training cruise under Captain Taggart, his acting first officer, correct? Facing off against a Borg invasion force within hours of leaving Starfleet Academy? That's quite a day. In your own words, tell me what happened out there. That's quite the story. Don't worry. I have statements here from Admiral Janeway, Captain Nog, and Administrator Post from Vega Colony corroborating your story. All three of them cite your bravery and command skills, as well as you and your crew's willingness to put yourselves in harm's way to preserve the lives of others. And you're exactly the kind of officer Starfleet needs. I know your ship might not be the Enterprise, but I think you've proven yourself capable of sitting in her captain's chair. Under normal circumstances, it would take you years of work to get your own command. But these are not normal circumstances. We're at war with the Klingon Empire. The Borg have returned. I'm losing more trained officers and ships than I can spare. Ships we can build, but leaders with courage and honor? Those are harder to find. It's time to try something different. I need someone who can handle themselves in a crisis and get the best out of their crew. Even though you're young, I think you're that person. I hereby promote you to the rank of lieutenant and give you command of the ship. Don't disappoint me. You will be assigned to the Klingon front, but first, you could use some new equipment for your ship. 
I have some improved consoles developed by the Starfleet Corps of Engineers. These consoles can be installed on your ship to improve its abilities. As you improve in rank, you will earn better consoles. Other ships you will command throughout your career will have space for many more. When you're done here, go see Durr's racks to customize your starship's appearance. diplomatic mission for you. An important Vulcan ambassador is traveling from his homeworld to the monastery at Pajem. Capturing the ambassador would be a major coup for the Klingons or Orions, so we're assigning you to make sure everything goes smoothly. You are to escort Ambassador Soketh to Pajem. Please meet him at Vulcan. Once you locate him, speak with him about the transport mission. Do whatever is necessary to keep him safe. <laughs> 